hello guys you welcome to another tutorial on sew with abby channel in today's video i'll be sharing how to cut and sew this off shoulder bustier dress with strap pleated sleeves keep watching guys let's get into the video for this dress i already posted a video of how i went about the pattern drafting and how i cut the lower parts if you are yet to see the video, the link is in the description box. You can go ahead to watch it so you have a proper understanding of how I drafted out this pattern. Now I want to cut this pattern on my fabric. I'll place each of it on my fabric and then cut. Alright guys, I'm done cutting and I had it stitching allowance to the side front as well as the center front the center back and the side back but i didn't have stitching allowance to the armhole and to the side because i added it while i was cutting now the center front is on fold the side front i cut out two two piece then i cut out two piece for the center back and the side back for the lining i cut it out the same way now i will set this back aside so as to work on the front i want to cut what i will use to pad the bust hair but before then let me show us what the front looks like this is what it looks like now i will bring in my wording put it on fold then place the center front on it i'll make sure the wording stops at the under bust i already notched it then I'll go ahead to cut it out. Now that I'm done cutting the center front, I'll go ahead to reduce the upper part by about half inch. This is because I want the neckline to lay perfectly when I stitch my lining to it. I will cut for the side front as well. Now I folded my wording into to place my fabric on it. Then making sure the wording stops at the underbust area. I'm not that side as well. After cutting, I'll turn it over to the other side so as to mark the width of the wording, how wide I want the wording to be on the fabric. Okay guys, the next thing I want to do is to iron down the wording to my fabric. I'm ironing down the shiny part, that is the only way it can stay on the fabric. After ironing, this is what I have. Now I'm going to head over to the sewing machine to stitch the side front and the center front together. And this is how I'm going to stitch it. I'll do the same to the other side, then I'll come back to show us what I have done. Okay guys, I'm done stitching and this is what it looks like. The next thing I want to do now is to iron the seam flat. I will open up the seam and then I'll give it a good press. Okay guys, after ironing you can see the seam is flat. Now I went ahead to stitch the lining and then I gave it a good press. Now I will bring in the back to work on it. I'll pick one piece from the center back and the side back and then I'll attach it together. I'll do the same here. Now I will go ahead to stitch. Okay guys, I'm done stitching the back and I also stitched the lining as well and then I ironed it. Now I'll bring in the lower part so that I'll work on it. I want to attach the lining to the fabric so I'm going to do just that. I will attach it at the end and also at the sides and then I will turn it right out. Then I'll do the same to the back pieces as well. Okay guys, I'm done stitching the lining to the fabric and this is what it looks like. This is the front piece. After stitching, I turned it right out and then I ironed it. I also did the same to the back pieces and you can see this is what it looks like. Now the next thing I want to do is to mark that on this skirt. I want to mark that so I've placed the pieces back together. Then I'll come to the top here from the center fold of the front piece. I'll mark my bust band, that is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 
and then I'll mark the length I want the dart to be. I marked 4 inches and then I'll draw a straight line. Afterwards, I'll mark the dart with half inch on either side of the line. Then I'll connect the points together to form like a V shape. Now I will notch the darts on the remaining pieces of the skirt. I will go ahead now to stitch down the darts but then I won't be stitching the lining and the fabric together. I will stitch the darts separately on the lining and on the fabric. For the back I will be stitching the darts the same way. Alright guys, I'm done stitching the dart and the next thing I want to do is to attach the upper part and the lower part together. And because I want to attach fabric to fabric and lining to lining, I loose this down a little bit on both sides. I also went ahead to notch the center of the two parts. Now I'll bring it together, the notched parts touching, the dart aligning. I'll head over to the sewing machine to stitch just the fabric i won't be stitching the lining together with it and i'll be making use of half inch measurement to stitch all right guys i'm done stitching the upper and the lower part together and i also do the same thing to the back pieces now the next thing i want to do is to work on the sleeve so i'll set this aside and bring in my sleeve so this is the strap i'll be attaching the pleats to the length is 12 inches 11 inches is the actual length, but I added extra 1 inch for stitching. Remember the 5.5 inches I removed from the bodies while drafting? That is how I came about the length for this strap. For the width, I have 2 inches. When I am done stitching, I will have 1.5 inches. Now I want to mark where the pleat will start and where it will end. First, I will mark half inch for attaching the strap to the dress. Then afterwards, I'll measure 1.5 inches. That is where the pleat will start. So you know 1.5 inch plus the half inch making it 2 inches. So at the lower part, I'll measure 2 inches as well. And the remaining space here is where the pleat will be attached. Now this is the piece for the pleat. I've gone ahead to close the edges and the length is about 20 inches and the width is 3 inches when i'm done stitching i'll have 2.5 inches and this is how i am going to pleat it i will pleat it to the remaining measurement i had after deducting 2 inches at both ends of the strap and after pleating it to the end i will stitch it down okay guys i'm done pleating and the next thing i want to do is to attach the pleat to the strap now i'm going to attach it remember i marked where it's going to stop and where it will end that is exactly where i will attach the pleat i will use pin to hold it down before i go ahead to stitch now after stitching i'll use this other side to cover it up and then i'll top stitch and this is what it will look like after stitching and top stitching. I'm done with the other sleeve. Now I'll bring in my dress so that I'll attach the sleeve to it. I'll place the sleeve half inch from the armhole and that is where I'll place it at the other side here half inch away from the armhole. And after stitching, this is what it will look like. Then I will use the lining to turn in the side, the arm o, the neckline, the other part of the arm o, and the other part of the side. Alright guys, after I was done attaching the sleeve and turning in the neckline and the arm o, this is what I have. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to attach this lining together i want to turn it in so that it will have a neat finishing so at one side here i'm going to lose just about enough for my hand to go in then i'll bring the two lining together and stitch after stitching i'll close the edge where i put in my hand all right guys i'm done attaching the lining together and i also close 
this part i top stitch it actually now i'll turn this to the right side then bring in the back pieces because i want to attach the sleeves to it now i'll place this sleeve half inch from the armhole like i did the front now let me show also you understand what i'm trying to say half inch away from the armhole then pin it down and then i'll do the same to the other side after stitching the sleeve i'll use the lining to turn the neckline the armhole like i did the front and this is how i'm going to do it i'll place my lining like this right side facing each other then i'll stitch the zipper side the neckline the armhole and also the side the same thing will be done to the other piece of the back okay guys after stitching the sleeve and turning in the neckline and the armhole i also went ahead to attach the lining together just like i did the front okay now the next thing i want to do is to attach the zipper so right side facing each other i will set the back pieces on each other then i'll mark where the zipper will stop but before then i will mark the slit where i want the slit to start from so from the m i will measure 20 inches that is where the slit will start from then from the top of the back i'll measure 18 inches down that is where the zipper will stop then i'll measure one inch here and then 1.5 inches down here and i will draw a line connecting this point then i'll extend this line to show us how i will fix the zipper it won't be entirely straight so this is where the zipper will stop and i will close up this part okay guys i'm done fixing the zipper and this is what it looks like i also closed the part i was supposed to close and for the slit i gave it a good press you can see how neat it is now our dress is almost ready the last thing i want to do is to join the two sides so i'm going to join the two sides using my body measurement and with that we've come to the end of this tutorial thanks for watching guys hope you find this video helpful do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on post notifications so that whenever i post new videos you'll be notified see you in my next one